Is, uh, the, oh, the microphone's on. Great. I am Shiri K. Cabral, uh, and I work for the Pythian Group, who just signed a unique partner deal with Sun. See the details at tinyurl.com slash Sun. But I'm actually here to show you how you can be a community superhero, just like me. I would first like to note that all the slides for this talk and all the links I'm going to throw out are online at tinyurl.com slash mysqlcom keynote. So download them. Don't worry about the links I'm going to throw out. They actually gave me 15 minutes, not 10. Um, and I'm going to try to be uh, on time. So in 2007 and 2008, I won the MySQL Community Advocate of the Year Award. I've written blog posts. I have given sessions at conferences and user groups. I've videoed other people's sessions at conferences and user groups. And I you know, give them out for free. I've produced 25 episodes of a MySQL podcast. I've organized the Boston MySQL user group. I was Google Summer of Code mentor for a MySQL project. And currently, I'm actually organizing the MySQL camp right now. Um, some have called me Wonder Woman. <laughs> there have, in fact, been other community awards winners. I won for being a community advocate, but Roland Bowman won for being a forum leader. Paul McCullough has won for his community um, code for PBXT storage engine. They're also superheroes. <laughs> And of course, you know, we can't forget all the others. We've got Baron Schwartz and Giuseppe Maxia who have won for their contributions. Uh, Marcus Pop has won for his writing and also his uh, free databases on db4free.net. And Martin Freib and Diego Modino uh, have won for quality, uh, QA reports, helping people on forums and, uh, and lists. And of course, this year's winners, which didn't get onto the slides, uh, Ronald, Mark, and uh, Shlomi. So they're all really, really incredible. So here's the thing. I actually don't have superpowers as much as I like to think I do. We, so we're superheroes, but we don't really have superpowers. We're kind of more like Batman that way. We just have technology. So on to the point. What can you do to be a community superhero? Well, one of the first things you can do is write. I like to talk, and talking to lots of people on my blog is just pretty much writing. So you can write blog posts. You can write articles for online and print magazines. You can write tutorials. You can write how-tos. Um, I don't know how many people know this, but the online documentation has always accepted community contributions through a program. I think if MySQL does indeed GPL the manual, which I am very excited and I hope they do, um, then community contributions will be even, even easier. Um, the next thing that you can do is teach other people. Obviously, if you're writing blog posts, you're disseminating information. So what can you teach people? Um, you can teach people to, uh, to do whatever you know how to do. Um, sign up for more Birds of a Feather sessions tonight. Um, there are user groups. There are conferences you can speak out. If there isn't a MySQL user group in your area, there's information on the Forge Wiki, which I'll link to later on in the, in the slide presentation, about how to actually start um, a user group of your own. I did it, and so can you. So the other thing you can do is you can record video and audio of people's presentations. Of course, you want to get the permission. Uh, most people, I don't think I've ever had a problem getting permission, even at, uh, believe it or not, Oracle conferences. Um, if you need a place to host audio and video or need editing help, um, technocation.org can provide both. They're a not-for-profit. I'll talk more about them later. Um, the internet has really, really thrived due to this whole social networking thing. Maybe you've heard of it. But one of the things that you can do, I'm here, right here. I'm talking to you guys. There's, what, 2,000 people in this audience who are going to see this. But you guys know, you all know people that I don't. So if you could please relay this information for me, I'd really appreciate it. The way that you can do that, you can retweet. You can make a blog post linking to somebody else's uh, blog post. And one of the most important things is to kill all the FUD, the fear, uncertainty, and development that's out there. I know everyone is asking this week, how will Oracle's acquisition of Sun affect MySQL? Well, for me, I know that Oracle is actually very committed to their community. They have a great community um, portal online. Their biggest conference, Oracle Open World, has an entire track devoted to sessions made up of sessions that the community has voted on. I actually spoke at Oracle Open World because of one of these sessions that the community voted on. So you, know, you have the panel of people who look through the uh, presentations and choose. But Oracle Open World also has a track specifically for sessions people voted on. That's, pretty, uh, that's a pretty good use of community, I think. Um, they also have an official program that recognizes community contributions at two, level, two levels. They have the Oracle ACE program and the Oracle ACE director program. So I'm pretty confident that as yes, part of Oracle, um, the community uh, work will continue, um, and that Oracle will continue to appreciate the community. 
um, as they have in the past. Again, social networking, very, very important. One of the most important things you can do to be a community superhero is to listen to people. Listen to what they do and listen to what they need, okay? And if you know somebody has a need, you can say, hey, I can help you with that. Even better, you can say, you know, I can't help you that, but I know somebody who can. And then, of course, there's your own opinion. Talk to people this week at the conference. You can Twitter using the pound MySQL conf tag. Um, comment on blog posts. You can find blog posts at planet.mysql.com. Discuss on the MySQL forums, the mailing lists, pound MySQL conf on ircfreenode.net. There's plenty of places to go. There's probably even a community on Second Life if you're still on there. But let's say you're more low tech than that. Um, there's always help that's needed, organizational help, logistical help. You can use your organizational skills to organize a user group or podcast or videocast and get other people to speak and write the content, but you actually have the logistics. You make sure that there's a room reserve. You make sure there's a projector. I went to the MySQL camp room yesterday morning and there wasn't a projector and I had to make sure it got there. That has nothing to do with the fact that I know anything about MySQL. Um, last week, at, uh, while Giuseppe uh, Maxi and I were at different uh, campuses, I was folding t-shirts to make them easier to distribute. When all else fails, just fold some t-shirts. However, I'm pretty smart, I like to think, um, but I'm not a genius, and you don't have to be a genius to do this kind of stuff, even the higher tech stuff. You know more than you think you do. You really, really do. You have something to share. Ask yourself, what was my last technological challenge with MySQL or with anything else? What, what did I do? How did I solve it? Even if your solution isn't the world's best solution, it's probably really good for somebody else. If it was good for you, it's good for somebody else. You also have uh, plenty of knowledge just based on your past experience. Plenty of resources are out there. If you don't have a blog and you don't want to install WordPress, there's blogspot.com and blogger.com. They host free blog sites. There's an entire team of community member, of community uh, liaisons at MySQL, Sun, Oracle, whatever we're calling it these days, that are dedicated to community. Clockwise from the left, we also, we saw in the black and white, we saw Kai Arnaud um, up st on stage today. There's also uh, in the white shirt, Giuseppe Maxia, who's the data charmer. Um, there's on the top right, there's Lens Grimmer. Um, and then underneath Lens is Dupes, who's the uh, community um, liaison for North America, and last but certainly not least, in a lovely purple shirt and afro, which he has since given up, is Colin Charles. Um, Colin Charles has organized this conference, so let's give Colin a round of applause. Thank you. Make sure you buy him a drink at the bar if you see one, because I think he's going to need some after the conference is over. And make sure you let him know how happy that you are, as I am happy, that there's finally a community keynote at the MySQL conference. Thank you. The MySQL Forge Wiki um, has plenty of information on sessions for this year's conference. You can um, actually edit it yourself and add links to slides, things like that. Planet.mysql.com. I know you can't see the, the, uh, the actual content, but that's kind of what it looks like. So if you get there, that's the right page. It's a planet. It's an aggregate of blogs. So you can read my blog. You can read Giuseppe's blog. Plenty of blogs. Lots of good information out there. As I mentioned before, IRC, forums, lists, great places to both answer questions and help out, and also ask your own if you have any questions. Even things like, how do I start a user group? Ask them there. Somebody will help or at least point you to the right direction. Again, if you want a place to host videos and audio files or help, uh, help editing videos once you've taken them, email info at technocation.org. Uh, talk to a volunteer. Technocation's a 501c3 not-for-profit uh, US organization. Uh, the mission is that it's dedicated to providing resources for IT professionals. Also, one thing to note, don't be afraid to make mistakes, really. I actually made a blog post very early on in my career with a naive opinion, and plenty of folks actually really nicely corrected me. How early on in my career is this? Well, um, if you go to shiri.com archives 13, that would be the original blog post I made. Um, and then shiri.com archives 14 was where I said, hey, thanks, guys, for guiding me in the right direction. And yet, here I am. It didn't destroy my reputation. Nobody thought I was dumb because, the, you know, in the next couple of things I posted, they realized, okay, she knows what she's talking about. You know, she's just a little new. Here, here I am up on stage, a MySQL guru, despite the fact that I'm not always perfect. So what can you do today, right now? Well, you can live blog and live tweet sessions, which you're already doing. You can record audio and video. You can update the wiki page, linking to the conference material, and there it is. If you want to update yesterday's links, it's Tuesday notes, and tomorrow's links are Thursday notes. 
Um, you can send Twitter messages with the tag poundmysql.conf to share information. You can share speaker feedback. You can also send notes like, hey, there's no water in Ballroom H. This is what I did yesterday when we didn't have the, um, the projector in the MySQL conference room. And Colin, you know, saw it and just, you know, jumped right up. So if there is any logistical help you need, you can also Twitter it and somebody will, uh, will find you and solve the problem. When sending speaker feedback, oh, you probably can't see that. But basically, this is the uh, abstract for the conference. The little thing that's circled in nine says nine in red is 9098. That's the number for this. So this keynote presentation is number 9098. So you might actually have a tweet like this, which says, I don't know if you can read it, it says, fabulous keynote 9098 by at Shiri at Pound MySQL Conf. Buying her book right now, and there's a URL to my book um, that's coming out in mid-May, so you can pre-order it now. Um, finally, don't help because you think it would be awesome to win an award. It is kind of awesome, but don't do it just because of that. Don't do it for the fame and the glory. Don't do it because you want to be like me. I'm really, really flattered that you want to be like me. However, you should help because you want to. It takes time and effort. It doesn't necessarily take a lot of you know, genius level whatever. You'll get there. You'll learn a lot. But it does take time, and it does take effort. Um, if you're, you're only doing a lot of little things, it's one presentation here, one video there, but add it all together, you really, really indeed, you make a difference. So to close, I'm actually going to share a clip from the movie Before Sunset, uh, starring Ethan Hawke, um, which kind of uh, uh, sums up what I like to say about this. In, the, in my field, I see these people that, oh, sorry, come into it with big idealist visions of becoming the new leader that will create a better world. They enjoy the goal, but not the process. Right. But the reality of it is that the true work of improving things is in the little achievements of the day. And that's what you need to enjoy to stay in that field. What do, you, what do you mean exactly? Well, for example, I was working for this organization that helped villages in Mexico. And their concerns was how to get the pencils sent to the kid in those little country schools. It was not about big revolutionary ideas. It was about pencils. I see the people that do the real work. And what's really sad in a way is that... The people that are the most giving, hardworking, and capable of making this world better usually don't have the ego and ambition to be a leader. They, they don't see any interest in superficial rewards. They don't care if, if their, their name ever appear in the press. They actually enjoy the process of helping others. They're in the moment. Yeah, but that's so hard, you know, to be in the moment. It is really hard. If you don't love it, you're going to hate it. So do what you love and help people because you love doing it, and you will be happy. I am. The very last point I'd like to make is that you shouldn't go at it alone. I've had tons of support from the community team at MySQL, various community members, and my own friends and family. Take a break if you start to feel frazzled by volunteer work, because burning out doesn't help anyone. I wouldn't be up here today if it weren't for my husband, Tony Cabral, and his unwavering support of me, even when I was doing volunteer work instead of spending time with him. Thank you very much. Um, if you want to contact me, I'm Shiri on Twitter, and my email is cabral at pythian.com. If you enjoyed this keynote and think it's valuable to have a community keynote in the future, please stand up as I leave the stage so that everyone can have a visible idea of exactly how much the community would like a community keynote in the future. Have a great conference.